go to top. <laughs> yep. I don't know why I did that. I hate yawning. Denton sat on the high wall and slipped his claws back into the holster. That had taught the kid a thing or two. Showing him who was boss. Pink kittens indeed. This gay bashing certainly gave you an appetite. He looked so damn pleased with himself that I threw a piece of mortar at him. But he didn't even bother moving, just eased his head to one side and watched it sail past. One day I'll have you. Don't hold your breath. Just getting comfortable. It hadn't been a good day for Thermal. It had been the sort of day you could do without. But at least he had the pleasure of telling Alien all about it. Where were the three of them? No, there were three of them, weren't there? Yes, enormous they were. Huge. Especially the black one. He was the worst. I showed him though, didn't I? You did that. Then the tortoise shell cat walked into the study and Thermal panicked and hid behind the waste paper basket. She was just as beautiful as I remembered and I introduced her to Aileen. They got on famously and set off on a tour of the bedrooms. A head peeped out from under the desk. Is it safe? Yes. Who was that? I don't know. She calls in occasionally. This time she stayed. No. This time she stayed longer even. She was surprised to see Thermal. I didn't know you had a cat. Yes, this is Thermal. He was way too shy to say anything. He just sat there with a stupid grin on his face and simpered. She took to she took the initiative. She was that sort of cat. She glided over to him and they touched noses. Her eyes watered. Does he drink? It was an accident. She made herself at home and stretched out on the hearth rug. Thermal didn't know what to make of it. His unmarried sister in Bright House, by all accounts, is a much plainer woman and he'd never seen anything quite like this before. He stubbed around for a while, pretending he had a limp. And then, when that didn't bring him the sort of attention he was after, he went all silly and did his funny walk on the mantelpiece. When he fell off it, no, when he fell off, it made his ear bleed again. But Aileen made a fuss over him. And so, with his ego charged a little, he felt confident enough to go and lie down beside his new friend on the hearth rug not right beside her you understand at a bit of an angle and slightly to the rear so that it was so that so that if he was snubbed 
he could brush it off lightly. He watched a cas he watched a cassette of Victoria Woods one woman show. She's Thermal's favourite and she cheered him up enormously. The battle with Denton had done him no good at all and it obviously hurt him when he laughed. So he just smiled with his thin so he just smiled his thin little smile every now and then. All the same, I'm sure he did I'm sure it did him a world of good. We we wound the video back and played the song about the hostess trolley once more. He loves that. And then Aileen zapped the television with her remote control. She's lethal with it. <coughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> no. She shook her head. <laughs> oh. She's keeping watch now. I've got plenty of time. Uh, I think she ought to go home now. I don't know where she lives. She does. I couldn't argue with that. <clears throat> we shouldn't be encouraging her to stay. I showed her to the door. Thank you for having me. Her manners were impeccable. So different from those of our own dear, dear Thermal. She slipped quietly down the steps, along the courtyard, well, across the courtyard, but it means the same thing, and into the lane. On impulse, I followed her. I wanted to know where she came from, and she made it easy for me. She didn't sulk in the dark shadows by the wall. She walked right down the middle of the narrow lane, as though she were leading a parade. I didn't want to alarm her, so I tried to make myself as inconspicuous as possible. As inconspicuous as possible. I was brought up on the films of the 50s, and I knew exactly how a private detective would go about it. I could have done with a trench coat and a hat brim to pull down, but we private private dicks <laughs> have to improvise so I stuck my hands deep in my pockets and kicked aimlessly at pebbles as I walked along just to make doubly sure I perfected a tuneless whistle and kept my eyes firmly on the ground. Uh, I was just another ordinary guy on these mean city streets. It worked beautifully. She had no idea she was being followed. She stopped a couple of times and so did I. I pretended to examine the private hedge for any trace of Dutch elm disease. Just a trick of the trade. She was getting too far ahead of me now, and then suddenly she turned into an open gateway. I didn't know which one. I sprinted after her, and she was waiting for me on the wall. Come on, we haven't got all night. She wriggled through the bars of the rickety gate, and made her way up the garden path to an old stone cottage. I leaned on the wall and watched as she settled down on the back step. It seemed out of character. I would almost have bet money on her having her own key. Of course, this could be another of her calls, and not where she lived at all. I heard footsteps behind me, and the sort of old man you always refer to as an elderly gentleman stopped at my elbow. Can I help you? I was just watching the cat. Oh, she's back, is she? 
He pushed open the gate and faced me from the other side. She's a Roma, is that one? Yes, she's just been to see me. He had the tang of his best bitter on his breath, and he shifted his foot so that he could use the gate as a bar rail. She's not happy here. It was my daughter's cat, you see. She's gone to Canada with her two lads, so we took her in. So we took it in, even. Couldn't take it with her. The cat was listening as though she knew we were talking about her. And she came a little closer. My wife can't stand cats. She's allergic to them, you see. But we thought we'd give it a try. We can't be in the same room as a cat. And I have, a, and I have to organise them so as they don't ever meet up. She's called to see us a couple of times. She will have. She's been in everywhere. I've had her brought back more times than one. I think she's decided she's not stopping here and she's sitting everyone up. Sizing everyone up. Everybody up. Ugh. Do you think so? I'm sure of it. She had certainly given us the once over. It was as though an estate agent had given her the details. The cat moved in closer still. A stiff breeze rippled the bushes and it wasn't easy for her to hear, to hear from over there. The man bent down and stroked her head. Do you want her? I'm not sure. We've already, we've got one already. There's a cat flap goes with her. I bought it when she came, but I haven't got round to putting it in yet. I was weakening. A couple of months ago, I wouldn't have, in, I wouldn't have entertained the thought. I had kidnapped Thermal on an impulse. I didn't need the responsibility. Tell you what, he said. If she comes to see you again, you have my blessing. You don't have to send her back. The cat looked up at me. It's your move. The man looked up at me. I, no, it'd make my life a lot easier for me. It was my move. All right, then. Let's see what she decides. I live in the house on the... I know which one's yours. It's the big... It's the big one. You'll have plenty of room over there. I'll bring the cat flap round when she's made her mind up. We shook it. We shook on it, and she said good night. We shook on it and said good night, but I had only gone about ten yards when the most beautiful tortoise shell cat in the world sailed past me. The old man still leaned on his garden gate. I think you've got yourself a cat. She was heading off towards she was heading off down the lane as though she wanted to be the first to tell Alien and Thermal. She hadn't even bothered to pack her pajamas. I didn't even know her name. What do you call her? Her name's Tigger, he shouted. So yeah, again, another half hour episode. Well, episode, chapter I don't know what to call it. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of chapter 12, uh, third video of today, Monday, and it's five to six. Uh, if you'd like me to read anything uh, after this, not long now. But yeah, if you'd like me to read anything after this, then just go ahead and tell me in the comments. Um... Lola's quite happily sitting behind me. <laughs> and I will see you whenever I record my next video, I guess. Which I think will will be on Thursday. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye.